order 2014, which is being held at the premises of the Murugan Temple. It is quite remarkable to note that we have two topmost religious leaders who have come from Sri Lanka and India. Sri Lanka Somasundra Paramacharya, who is the head of the Nalai Adhinams in Jaffna, Sri Lanka, and also is one of the largest spiritual Hindu, it is called like Adhinam Monastery in Sri Lanka. We are indeed blessed with the presence of Swami. We are also blessed with the presence of Dr. Maunaguru Kumarasamy Thambiran from Tarmapura Adhinam from uh, Tamil Nadu, India. Tarmapura Adhinam is one of the one of the oldest Hindu Adhinams or monastery in Tamil Nadu. We are delighted by the presence of uh, Tony Isa, the member of Parliament who is representing the Premier of New South Wales. Who, and will be delivering the opening speech of this conference. On behalf of the Saiva Mandram, we welcome you for this conference. We are also honored to welcome Jeff Lee, state member for Parameter, for to give a special speech. Also, we are honored to have Julia Owens, a federal member for Parameter. Julia has visited this temple many times and has been part of our community and attending many functions. Uh, her passion and indeed wanting to know more about our religion and culture is remarkable. I welcome Julia uh, on behalf of the Saiva Mandram for attending this conference. We are also very much glad to have Holroyd City Council's Mayor uh, Naza Hafroni and uh, Councillor Nadima Hafroni uh, for attending this con conference and uh, give, give a speech. The, the Saiva Mandram and Holroyd Council have a long history of cooperation and understanding, and we believe that uh, the mayor's presence uh, will further enhance uh, our relationship. I have personally experienced the exceptional cooperation and support provided by council staff during the development of the recently built uh, South Podium Capital Works. We thank you for being here and we are very fortunate that our temple is in your local government area. I also welcome the delegates who have come here to give speech and uh, submitting research papers. I, well, I also welcome all those who have come here to attend this great uh, conference from overseas, interstates and, and locally. The Saiva Mandram was established as a religious organization in 1986 with the intention to have a Saivaiti Hindu temple in Sydney. The Sydney Murugan temple was completed and consecrated uh, in 1999. The Saiva Mandram is a registered organization and uh, which owns and manages the Sydney Murugan temple. We provide a public place of worship for the, for the devotees to come and pray. We have devotees visiting temple on a regular basis during the major major events. We have, we have devotees coming to the temple not only from locally, but also from interstates, overseas, etc. The Sydney Murugan Temple is the largest Hindu temple in, in Southern Hemisphere and is well known to the uh, Saivites all over the world. The title for this conference is Humanitarians in Saiva Agamas, Tirumurai and Saiva Siddhanta text. We chose this title so that it incorporates not only religious activities uh, but also community, community activities we conduct. The Sydney Murugan Temple usually arrange, uh, arranges and provides various scripture classes, arrange religious discourses and um, support humanitarian efforts, efforts through various registered organizations. I do believe that as part of the, uh, the Sydney Murugan uh, Temple commitments, this conference will enhance and improve the religious and philosophic, philosophical way of life among our community. In particular, for the younger generation and to maintain peace and harmony in their life. The experts and motivational speakers are here to provide presentations, speeches, tutorials, and forums on cyber scriptures and practices. 
Finally, with the grace of Sydney Murugan, I once again welcome you all for this great conference. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. First, I want to acknowledge the traditional of the land by respect for the elders past and present. Welcome the two guests, uh, the religious leaders from Sri Lanka and India. Welcome to Australia. I hope you enjoy your stays here. Give me a great deal of pleasure to be here today to share with you a very important event. A conference will address the humanitarian issue. To represent the Premier of New South Wales, he asked me to convey to you his good wishes today and the success for your conference. I'm not a stranger for this uh, temple, temple here. I think I've been here about five, six times, and I have a privilege and honour to have many of you as a friend of mine. And I'm sure I'll be visiting you again after the um, assessing the funding for the Home Builders Program, which I think uh, you people apply for some funding. And I'll be looking forward to be able to assist you soon on this matter. I'd like to acknowledge my parliamentarian college and my good friend, the Worship the Mayor of Horod, in Councillor Kafruni and his daughter, Nadima. What's important about today is a conference, get everyone together to share an opinion on ideas, to transfer the culture from your own country to the world. It's important today because we had a youth conference here. This is why I'm here today, and I was looking forward to come here today. And I thought I will talk to you from my heart, because what goes from the heart goes straight to the heart. It's important today because the you, the other leaders of our nation, the leaders of tomorrow. Today, it's important for us to be able to share with them the leadership, the ideas from different parts of the world, especially when I heard inter international conference, not only Australian people come to this conference from all over the world. I think that's a great initiative to all get together, to share ideas, to implement that seed in our new generation, to be able to carry on our future, our culture for the future generation. I learned a lot more about your religion from a, a lot of friends I share. I understand it's all based on understanding of love, of support, of helping others, and living together in harmonies. That's what's important about that religion. And I'm really happy to be here today to represent the New South Wales government on the opening of such event here, a wonderful conference. What makes me more happier, because that conference has happened in my electorate of Granville, this is a part of my area I represent in the New South Wales government. This is the area I always look forward to assist the residents on many issues. My good friend, Dr. Jeff Lee, who shared that responsibility with me, which I believe he had a great link with your community, he's here today again to be able to tell everyone how important you are for us as a government. We'd like to thank you for your contribution to our economy. When I look around, I know how many doctors from your community, how many cameras from your community, how many business persons from your community. You all contribute in a positive way to this great nation, Australia. I want to thank you for this. I want to welcome the guests from overseas to this conference. I'm going to wish them all a happy stay in Australia and enjoy the Australia. I wouldn't say good weather today because I know, but it's all right. At least you could keep your inside concentrated on the conference. You don't have to be outside having a coffee chat because the weather is not a great outside. This is a really good idea for the reasons happen to be raining today. So everyone concentrate on the conference. 
It gives me a great deal of pleasure to share with you today that very special occasion, not only on my behalf, on behalf of the New South Wales government, on behalf of the hard-working Premier of New South Wales, I wish you all the success for today and tomorrow conference. And thank you for having us. Can I say what a pleasure it is to be here today and, and um, what a place to have the first conference. And uh, this is a temple that's revered not just in Sydney, but right around New South Wales. And, and, and now I see it's revered right around the world. And because uh, this temple it makes such an impact, and I, think, um, and I think it's more than a place to actually worship. It's a place to bring together the Tamil community, not just to worship Lord Murugan, but really to bring the community together, a place of education, a place where we can look after our youth, a place where we can join together in looking after our elderly and a place where we can uh, bring the community together to help each other and I pay tribute to the uh, to the uh, the directors and all the swamis that are here and, and working very hard in the community to bring the community together and of course the Tamil Australian community are a great community we see that many of the directors are doctors we see many of the Tamil community in leading professions, whether they're accountants or lawyers or IT specialists, academics. And so I think part of the wonderful fabric of Australia is the contribution of the Tamil community, not just in, in, in professions, but building the whole community, looking after the, the, the people in need and, and contributing, raising families and, and, and contributing to the business. So I, I pay tribute and on behalf of the New South Wales government pay tribute to the wonderful work that the Australian Tamil, Tamil community are doing. Now I just have a, a, a small confession because I was speaking to the doctor just there about uh, Lord Murrigan and I understand his, uh, his brother, Lord Ganesha, his, his brother's Lord Ganesha. But in fact, I have uh, Lord Ganesha in my office because I think uh, Lord Ganesha, as I understand, I like Lord Ganesha. And, uh, and can I say, uh, I, I think as a politician, we, we probably need Lord Ganesha. So all my colleagues, politicians, Tony and Shirley. At the moment, we do have a few obstacles to overcome. And apparently, if we pray hard enough, we'll get there. Well, we're, we're certainly praying, but uh, Lord Murrigan's are very good, and I do notice the symbolism with the peacock. And, yet, uh, and I think we could all learn, especially politicians, about the destruction, the, the overcoming of our ego to place the community first, to the interests of the people first. So to I say all to the delegates that are around, not just the ones from this wonderful area, Parramatta, the capital of Western Sydney, the capital of uh, New South Wales, as I like to put it, or the eastern suburbs of uh, eastern suburbs of Western Sydney. Can I say welcome, especially our overseas friends that have come from right overseas, whether it's Malaysia, whether it's India, whether it's Sri Lanka. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your three days. I'm sure the weather will get better. So welcome to Sydney, and it's been an honour and a privilege to be part of today's conference. Thank you. Um, and for our Indian guests, um, Namaste. Can I acknowledge our religious visitors, um, your holinesses, and thank you very much for gracing us with your presence today. But I want to start by acknowledging the many people, and I know there are some in this room, who worked so hard for many years to carve out a place in Rose Hill where the wisdom of millennia could grow. And I am so aware of when I say Vanukam and Namaste, there is wisdom in those words which has no translation in my language. You bring something with your language and the religion, um, the Saivam religion to Australia, which weaves a wisdom into our community and makes us all strong. Like part of a fabric, every thread touches us all and makes us all strong. What you've done here is a wonderful thing for our country and for your community. And I do notice you've also built a temple I notice you've also built a temple, but in many ways building a community of mind and faith is more difficult than building a, building a building. And what we do today through this conference is nurture that wisdom and strength we have in Australia in the Saivan religion. So thank you very much for all of you for what you do for us all today. When we make one person wise, we are all the better for it. So thank you very much. Thank you.
acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Dalek people, and pay my respect to elders past and present. As the mayor of Warroy City, it is my honor to recognize the contribution Culture Group make to our local community. Events like this are a great way to celebrate and strengthen community spirit. Your program is filled with song, dance, drama, leaders, scholars, but above all, inspirations. Take the time to listen and learn and come out of here knowing you can make a difference in the community. Enjoy the opportunity to listen to people with a wealth experience and meet new people in the community.